Welcome back to our Flask tutorial. In this video, we're going to show you how to use and how to work with static files. Static files are all the files that are not directly related to our Flask application. So for example, images, CSS files, JavaScript files, again, any static file that it's just not related to our Python application and we just have to serve it. We're going to see how to include them and how Flask makes this process easier. To show you how static files work, we're going to use an example. We're going to start from our previous form, the one that we used in our previous step, and you will see, of course, that this is a pretty ugly form. It doesn't have any styling. But if you check the code closely, you will see that it's a bootstrap valid HTML form. So what we want to do is include the CSS file containing the bootstrap code so we can uh, style this particular form. So if I go ahead and I use the example number 14 and reload this page, you will see that we now have the same form, but that, but now it looks much, much better. And that's because we are just including the bootstrap CSS file. If I show you the source code, we are now including a reference to the bootstrap CSS file, in this case, to a static file. This is all the code, we don't care about it, and this is what marks that it is a static file. It's just an external file that we use for a particular application. If you check the code of the example 14th, you will see that it's just as the same code as before, but now we're using a different template. So again, the magic seems to be in the template. If we check the template, the only thing that changes from our previous example is that we are just including this reference to the bootstrap.css file. And we are doing so by using the URL for Flask function. The, this, fu this function URL4 basically takes an endpoint, in this case the endpoint is static, and a file name to create a URL for, uh, as the name implies. So it's just generating for us this particular URL that it's going to be used. Now, you might wonder why do we need this? Well, in a professional application, the Flask server will not be serving static files. Static files will usually be served by the front HTTP server you have. This may be a more complex topic and it deals on how applications are usually deployed. But basically you will have a robust HTTP server like Nginx or Apache and behind that HTTP server you will have your Flask server. Flask will just take care of the application processing the Python code. To serve static files, JS files, CSS files, images files, you will want to use the other more robust and usually a faster HTTP server. So that's why we need to construct these URLs in a, in a smarter way. In this case, as we are developing, we are serving the static file from Flask. But when we move our application to production, we don't want to go changing the URL, URLs at any given point where we use them. So we're using just this URL form, so URL4 function, and then we can change the settings depending on how we deploy, deploy our application. By convention, Flask will build these URLs, and in this case, we're just using the word static because we have a static directory containing the files that we want to include. So right here, you can put, for example, all your images, all your JS files, all your CSS files, and just put them here, and in development, you can just serve them with this URL form. There are different ways to serve uh, these static files in production, and of course, each use case will change but in general, by using this technique of serving static files, you will usually be safe.